VIP. Let's kick it. This is George, and in this video, we will be talking about how important magnesium is in the reef aquaria. I'm going to be going over the nature of magnesium in seawater, how it is added, measured, and how it's removed from your reef tanks. It also impacts the maintenance of calcium and alkalinity. Magnesium is the third most abundant ion in seawater. It is also involved in many great biological processes in every living organism. The only time it comes to the attention of reef aquarists is usually when it affects the uh, balance of alkalinity or calcium in their tank. Calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity are very similar chemically. So similar that they often get in the way of each other in many situations. In full strength salt water, magnesium is 53 mm, in short for millimolar. This is the number of actual ions present. Magnesium is significantly lighter than calcium. On a weight basis, it's three times as concentrated. 1285 ppm versus 450 ppm. In terms of the amount of magnesium consumed, it's used in calcification. When calcium carbonate skeletons are deposited, magnesium often takes the place of calcium. It's not entirely clear whether this is something organisms try to do, but the amount of magnesium in every coral skeleton depends greatly from coral to coral. Magnesium has a tremendous biological and chemical relevance to reef aquaria. Fortunately for reef keepers, magnesium is abundant in sea salt water. There is in fact a fairly high turnover of calcium and magnesium in reef aquariums. This is due to the rapidly calcifying organisms in your tanks. If you use salt mixes that are really good you, and you change your water often, you will probably be getting the right amount of magnesium um, and have an abundance of it, but if the imports and exports don't match up, then you're probably going to end up having some, some type of a turnover where your magnesium is too low or too high. The obvious primary source of where the magnesium comes is from the water that you change your water changes with. Some salt mixes have a deficiency in magnesium, or are reportedly uh, uh, have said to, which include Seachem and um, Tropic Marine. Others have a huge excess. One of them that um, has come to mind is Coral Life. Also, when you add calcium, sometimes you're adding magnesium also um, in dosing products and supplements. Um, sometimes it's just there because they're so closely related, and sometimes the manufacturer actually intends to put it in there because your tank needs it. Unfortunately for reef aquarists, different organisms use different amounts of magnesium in relative to calcium. The right amount of magnesium to add into your tank will depend completely on what organisms you have in your tank. The simple use of calcium or alkalinity may change uh, your magnesium readings over time. This lack of addition uh, coupled to the calcification that goes on with magnesium and calcium with uh, carbonate skeletons, there could be a deficiency of magnesium in your aquarium. There's tons of different magnesium supplements out there. Um, like I showed you in my other video, I'm still using the Seachem Aqua Vitro. This is the um, ions one, and it raises your magnesium fully dissolved. Others come in like crystal form, and you dissolve them before you put them in your tank. Whatever supplement you use, I would recommend targeting uh, 1250 to 1350. Uh, PPM for your magnesium reading. I would not suggest raising your magnesium by more than 100 PPM per day. If you need to raise your reading by several hundred PPM, do it over the course of seven days. It also gives a lot of time for your tank to get rid of the impurities in your supplementation. There are a number of commercial um, magnesium test kits made by SAC, uh, Seachem, and Salifer. These test kits have various ways of trying to differentiate calcium from magnesium. I use this uh, salifert one and this one contains one titration but in other ones some contain two titrations. How does magnesium impact the balance of calcium? There's too much chemistry in it that I won't get into. It's actually basically all chemistry but basically um, when your magnesium is really low you'll often find that you have really high levels of calcium. Then you see all your calcium based corals dying and you're like well how can that possibly be my calcium readings are so high. Simply without magnesium, calcium and sometimes alkalinity cannot be absorbed. So um, no matter how much calcium you have in your tank, without that precious magnesium, uh, none of it can be absorbed into the corals or the purple algae. Magnesium is very important in the reef aquarium hobby. 
as uh, well from its many biological processes. It uh, helps prevent from excess precipitation of calcium carbonate in your seawater. Since both calcium and alkalinity are very important to organisms that we keep, making sure that they are not lost to excessive precipitation is an important part of aquarium husbandry. Thanks for watching. George out. Yo, VIP.